The forebears of the Maxwell and Corkill families came here to the Yass Plains, as it was known then, and the Limestone Plains. They came from Ireland, Scotland, and the Isle of Man. They weren't from the wealthy classes, so they tended to come here and work for other people on properties, rural properties, and then later acquire their own land. The Corkhill name came to the Yass Canberra district when Robert Corkhill came to work for Robert Campbell on the large Duntroon estate. And some of that estate became Canberra later. He married in 1893 a woman called Catherine Rolfe. She was known as Kitty. They lived to start with on the Duntroon estate. It was around the time of his marriage that he probably acquired his first property. It was near Yass. It was on the Murrumbidgee River and it was called Horseshoe. Another property that he had was near Burrawa. It was quite a large property called Normanhurst. A great change came for the Cork Hills when the Federal Capital Territory for Canberra was established officially in 1911. Instead of being freehold land, which people found it was all turned over to leasehold, and Robert Corkhill was able to take up one of these leases. It was on land along the Belonglo, part of the old Yarralumna property, and they ran sheep, grew crops and had a dairy. The land was called Riverview, and that name has obviously stayed in the family and had meaning for them up till the present. In 1961, the government decided they'd go ahead with creating Lake Burley Griffin, and so then that was the end of the Cork Hills lease. I think it was a sad event for them, but it was also the impetus to that kind of adaptation and looking around for how they could use their rural skills in business. The forebears of the Maxwells were Joseph and Mary Franklin, and they actually came from Ireland in the late 1830s, got work on the Walgrove property, which was not far from Yass, and then later acquired their own place just near Murrum Bateman called Oakvale. It was while they were at Oakvale that family members actually encountered one of the notorious bushrangers of the area. They were held up on the road between Bynalong and Bowning. The bushranger was John Gilbert. He was a member of the Ben Hall gang. Ben Hall was very active around Yass during the early 1860s. Actually, the newspaper reports are interesting. It sounds as though it was all quite jolly in a way. <laughs> Joseph and Mary Franklin also purchased the property of Brindabella in the high country, and that was held in the family for many years. So they passed it on to their sons and their grandchildren grew up there. And one of their granddaughters was Miles Franklin, the novelist who wrote My Brilliant Career and wrote about growing up at Brindabella. Another of their grandchildren was Ivy Franklin. She married Jack Maxwell. Jack was from Queenbeyan. He was a skilled horseman and stockman and he worked on Brindabella and later contributed to the management of it. Jack and Ivy married in 1911 and that was of course the year that Canberra was officially created and Jack was able to transfer his skills as a stockman and a horseman and a manager to working for the government and he became a ranger in the Cotter catchments. When the construction of Canberra got underway, there were many changes for rural families and obviously for both the Cork Hills and the Maxwell families. They are constantly challenged to adapt, but what you see in, in those two families is that determination to maintain their connections to the land. <laughs>